Okay, on the Striker Radio Club page today, we have this question. Does anyone know how to change Roger Beep in a software? Sure we do. Don't forget, your software comes with standard Roger Beeps. So when you open your data file or read from radio, you click on Roger Beep. And there they are. Roger Beep 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You just start making them. Um, you could play two as an example. Okay. Here's when I made number three. Now, the reason I made number three is because the, by default, your radio over here in this tab, by default, when you change a Roger beep, it's only channel specific. Remember this, gentlemen and women. So, say we do a new Roger beep on eight. Okay, and we write back to the radio. You have to go pick your new Roger Beep on number 8 for every channel. Or, you have to change it here before you write to the radio. This is where people get confused. They make a new Roger Beep, and they turn their tack back on and play the Roger Beep, and it's the old one. This is why. Band 4... Under your 10 meter tab, as you see up there, it defaults the Roger Beep to the third slot. This is where people get confused. So they'll go out here, and we'll go basically into this on number 8. Let's make a quick Roger Beep. Let's make it a very, very high pitched. We'll make it 50 milliseconds here. Make this one 40. And sometimes you will notice the Roger Beep will not play until you restart the software. That's another glitch. So anyway, say we made a nice Roger Beep number 8. We love it. Okay, we can add another tone down here. Bring this way up. You know, as you see. So now, when you go to program, right to radio, the Roger Beep you did on number 8 is not going to be playable on your radio by stock when you just flip the Roger Beep switch. So you're going to have to go to program, go to number two under function, pick Roger Beep and spin the dial to number eight. Okay. Then you'll be able to play the new Roger Beep EQ designed in here. So that's where the, the little thing comes in. So what I tell people to do is go into number three. Okay. Modify three. Whatever you want. Basically, Recycle times tells you how many times it's going to play the Roger Beep. Very simple. I make it one. You know, you don't want to aggravate people. The tone, it's going to be high or low. Basically, that's what it is. 400, as an example, is a very low tone. 2550 is a high tone. How long? How many time? How long in milliseconds do you want it to play? Okay. And then your inter times are here. Okay, if recycle time is off, it's not going to play. You got to pick recycle time at least one. And your enter times. Okay, that's the adjustment between times. So I leave that on zero. Like I said, so if you went to number eight, you put it on one. Let's make a new Roger Reap on eight. There we go. Fancy little Roger Reap on number eight. Eh, let's give us a. Uh, Let's give us another tone here, something nice and high, all the way up. And let's give that a 60 millisecond. Okay. So that's going to play a recycle six times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we got our Roger Beep here. We got it set on number eight. That's what I was talking about before. Now when you go, okay, we like this Roger Beep. Cool. I want to use that for every channel. You close this, and then under here, for your 10 meter band, you're going to have to set that to 8 all through here, if that's how you wanted to do it. If not, when you go to program right to radio, it's going to set everything back to Roger Beep, whatever number was here. Okay, That's where guys are getting confused. So back to your question, how do you create a Roger Beep? You just pick a blank tab, make sure this is on the off, off, so it's on at least one. Pick a tone and a time. Let's pick another tone. 
And another time. Let's make this a little longer. And hit play. That's it. There's your new Roger beep. And then you click on uh, close. And then you go program right to radio. That's how you adjust them. But for sake of argument, I always modify Roger Beep 3. That's what the radio defaults to. And that way you can play your Roger Beep when you write it back instantly. If not, again, you're going to have to go into function. Under first program switch, then function, number 2, Roger Beep, and pick the number of the Roger Beep you modified. Okay, so say you wanted to set Roger Beep 8, that's what you do. What's nice is... You can have a Roger Beep for channel 19, a channel Roger Beep for channel 38, you know, you can do whatever you want. But how to make the Roger Beep is in here. Very simple. They don't sound exactly on the computer as they do with the radio, remember that. But that's that's how you do it. You're just picking the tone, vol you know, the tone frequency and the time. And you're just going to continue to add the tone and the time, tone and time, tone and time until you get it where you want it. Then you can also go file save as, and you can give it whatever name or number you want on your computer. And you